Hey guys, Michelle here from Cushel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today I have a crafty haul only of doodle bugs no much fun oh my gosh when i saw this go up for pre-order with a cherry on top i was like i need to have some of the collection i don't think i bought everything but i do have to admit that as you know what i'm about to say that adorable penguin is so stinking cute along with everything else so i'm gonna share with you all of the stuff that i purchased from this collection and hopefully if you like it as much as i do maybe you'll be able to snag some of the stuff up um but let's get started so I'm gonna do the easy stuff first. <laughs> um, but I gotta say that these penguins, again, are so stinking cute. These are the Doodle Pops, which are the layered, um, if you guys can see, I'll open it because that way you understand. But um, they are layered stickers. Um, they have foam dots in between them, but they're so stinking cute. And I love how each of them have a different color hat on them to keep them warm even though they are penguins <laughs> but they're so adorable so i got that one and then they have what's called shape sprinkles and so they had these two in different styles now who doesn't love a cute adorable snow snow people so one of them even has or a few of them even have a snow cone in their hands i mean come on we have some with bows we have some with the word love on it and these little tiny um, embellishments are just adorable. And so I picked this one up as well. And then this one has a cluster of a different of the animals. And I love the fox and the little bunny and the little chirpy birds. And then look how cute these little polar bears are. Oh, and we even get a seal. Along with, of course, the adorable penguins. But these are um, flat lay. So they look like they're, um, what do you call it? Like a resin style but uh, so stinking cute. So those were the little stickers I picked up. Then I picked up their puffy icons. Now I did get two, I have to admit. Um, the reason why is because when I attended a retreat with three craft chicks back in August, they had a guest um, come on that showed us how to make charms and bracelets and stuff like that. And so I'm like, how do you make charms out of these? Well, if you didn't catch my video, um, definitely go back and check it out. But I did show you guys how to make these cute little um, dangles. And so these are exactly the puffy icons. So you basically um, glue them together, put a little hoop ring on it or jump ring on it, and make your own fun ones. So this was kind of fun I made with my niece. Um, and then I even tried it out with other companies puffy icons um this i believe was a frank garcia collection i think it was twilight or something so i did that one as well so again it was just something fun to do so i had a lot of fun doing it <laughs> so i picked up two and these basically have um the different types of uh embellishments so you have snowflakes and you have houses and you have the faces and of course my cute little adorable penguins um, cup, cups of joe and then more of the animals the bunnies and whatnot um well not the whatnot the foxes and the polar bears and stuff like that we got little clouds here too so i got that and i got two for my collection or my hoard i guess is the right word to say um they have other different types of stickers that don't have the puffiness or the resin feel so if you like flat lay stickers this would be the one for you um, this one's called Mini Icons, and there's actually three different sheets. So the first view you have is the first sheet, but on the back, they do kind of give you a peek, I guess, of <laughs> what all three would look like. Um, but I'm going to share with you what they all look like. So in case you're not sure if you want to get them, once I can get them out. So they will come like this, three different sheets. And so um, you can see how this one here gives you an array of different options. I love that she has a little um, fox hat on her. Here is the second one. Look at my penguin. 
And here is the third one. I love this little little cluster of penguins hanging out in the bucket going to the ski. Now one thing I do want to make, make reference to, this purple strip on the left hand side of that page is not perforated to um, peel off as a sticker, but definitely utilize it. Just use your um, scissors or your cutting blade and you can definitely make this a border strip so you really get three extra stickers. Um, that's not accounted for on the mini icon, so just something to point out to you in case because it actually goes with the whole color concept of the theme. So that's a lot of fun. I want to do <laughs> the bits and pieces last because they have so much in them. So I wanted to share with you some of the other stuff that I picked up. Oh, by the way, they do have larger stickers than these. I did not purchase them. But if you do want a larger scale, definitely look into those for you. Um, but I did not, from my from what I'm looking at, I did not pick those up. Um, oh, but they did come in one. Okay. I didn't purchase them separately, but just letting you know. So this one here is your acetate sheet. Um, this is snowflakes. Hopefully you guys can see that with my hand behind. Um, and I picked up one. Usually I pick up more, but... I'm not sure how many things I want to have in my stash right now I'm trying to use my stuff um, but I definitely love this it's very thick um, sometimes acetate can be a little thin but this one's thick so I picked this one up and then let's get into the three collections of paper now I didn't get any of this small paper pad which now I'm rethinking that in my head but all I picked up was the 12 by 12 sizes and they do have them in two three different um i guess references so you have the collection itself so that's again the snow much fun double-sided cardstock but this is the collection paper basically that has all the characters and themes to go with it then they have another one and this one's called just assorted cardstock so these are going to be all the colors that go with the theme in case you want a solid one okay then they have one that's called petite print and this basically, again, has the same colors to go with the collection, but some like embellishments in the sense of pattern. So it doesn't have any of the characters on it, but as you can see, it has all the different patterns. So if you're making 12 by 12 pages or folios or six by eight albums, and you don't want to use all of your pattern paper, which has all the embellishments and characters on it, then these would be your backgrounds, right? So there's just something to be aware of if you're not i know that when i started dabbling into doodlebug i was like why do they have three different collections i didn't comprehend it but it makes sense i guess depending on how you're using it um so we'll just get right into it so we'll start with the petite um again you're gonna get the same colors as the collection but just like a different background now it doesn't have, doesn't have to mean that you use it specifically for this collection because some of these could be used for other holidays like um, birthdays or Easter, Halloween, fall. So this one is called Limeade Gingham. This one is Limeade Candy Stripes. This one's called Pistachio Buffalo check wood grain. <laughs> That's a long word. This one is pistachio candy stripe sprinkles. This one is a bubble blue dot stripe. That's a pretty blue. This one's bubble blue plaid polka dot. I like the plaid side. This one is Swimming Pool Swiss Dot. This one is Swimming Pool Gingham Linen. Oh, so pretty. This one is Blue Jean Candy Stripe Sprinkles. This one is Blue Jean Gingham Linen. And this one is Lilac Swiss Dot. 
And this last one is a lilac plaid polka dot. So it basically will give you the words of the front and the back in their names along with the colors. But they are just a fun array of different ones. And I definitely can't wait to play with this. Um, okay, so this again was a petite print assortment. And then I will do the solid one. Um, just go through it quickly because that way, in case you're interested, you know that this is the pack for you or not. It's so whatever works for you and your budget, obviously. Ooh, I really love, and I hope you guys can see the texture of that paper. I really love when the paper has that texture because it's like woven into it. So it's, I guess this is your lilac. I forgot what all the colors were called. I just mentioned them, but basically it's the same colors I referenced backwards because this is that dark blue. And then here is the next blue down. So you're just getting one of each color. I know this was swimming pool because it's, it looks like a swimming pool. This looks like a teal. That looks like a mint green. This looks like a, uh, this is lime grass, I think is what it said. And you get a white, you get a gray, you get a black, and then you get a purple. They're so pretty. Um, I do think, or maybe I'm wrong, but I think you can purchase these. Um, individually um, or as a kit. I'm not 100% on that, but if you're definitely looking for a specific color, definitely look for that to see if that's an option for you. So now we get to the collection. Now this does include the stickers, which I mentioned before I didn't purchase separately because I believe this one had it in it and that's the reason why, but I'm gonna share with you what, um, what that looks like so just kind of get a concept this is the only 12 by 12 sticker sheet that you get in here i i want to say there's another larger set from at least previous collections but i could be wrong but you kind of get an idea of scale so you see like that's little uh snowman with the other little snowman so really like that. having snow much fun Anyways, so let's let's share with you the collection because that's what we're here for, right? So this one here is called Snow Much Fun. And you're only getting one of each kind. To me, I think that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. This one's called All Bundled Up. All right, so this is basically your uh, border strips. See all the different ones. This one's called um, Snow Day. This one's called Frosted Friends. So just like my stickers. This one's called Frozen Flurry. Oh, look at my cut apart. Let's go this way, I guess. Or they're both in different directions. Happy birthday from all of us. Oh. How cute and look at my little cluster I feel like we should put pom-poms on them make them cheerleaders oh did I look at the back I didn't guys <laughs> so here is the bag they look like little snow flurries and then here this one's called spot of snow I really like all the little different colors okay so here are more cut aparts and then you have different sizes with the sentiments on the sides this one's called Winter Wonderland. Every time I see houses like this, it reminds me of Paige, Paige Evans when she made us cut out these little um, houses for the Halloween kit. I don't know why I go there, but I never thought of cutting out, uh, fussy cutting houses on a 12 by 12 cardstock before. But yeah, 
that was fun. Ooh, I love this one. Look at this ombre effect. How pretty is that? This one's called Wintry Woods. Beautiful solid blue in the background on the other side. This one's called Cold Streak. The array of the stripes. And then here you have um, your uh, journaling side. So fun. This one is called Ice Crystals, which actually is a little bit like the snowflake in here. So you see all the different colors? There's one right there with the different colors. So that's kind of cute. I thought that was like a, a mistake, but apparently it is not. So cool. So the other side, this is like perfect for Easter. Not gonna lie. Love those colors. This one's called Snow Happy Together. And then this last one is Freeze Tag. <laughs> no pun intended, right? I love this little array here. Even if you don't use it as a tag, you could definitely fussy cut around them and then maybe add foam dots behind it and elevate it. I mean, I think that would be so cute. The same with these little guys right here. So, so fun or snow much fun, ha 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 ha. And then the back is just blank. All right, so that wraps up all of the paper, the stickers, and now we're gonna play with the embellishing book. So I got out my scrapbook.com little trays, <laughs> so that way I can just slide them in their little spots. Um, let's go with the smallest one in order. So this one is 78 pieces. This is the bits and pieces from the collection. You definitely can see on the back, it kind of gives you an array of different options. The majority of them seem to be snowflakes, which I am totally fine with that. Um, so let's take a look, shall we? See if I can grab it all at once. Maybe I should do it this way. So we have, as I mentioned, there's going to be a bunch of snowflakes, so I'm just going to go through, fan through those really quick, but I want to share with you all these cute little tags with the little snow people and abominable snowman, and look at my little penguin. So we have some sentiments, Snow Much Fun, which is the collection name, and we have little banners and more that are blank, so you can definitely use your stickers and embellishments for them. And you can definitely back this up with cardstock so you can make it thicker if you want to put it on the side of the page. This is a cute little clipboard. There's another little tag here. It looks like a ripped notebook paper with a Christmas tree. And then here you have one of those kaleidoscope, not kaleidoscope, um, you know what I mean. Anyways, one of those. <laughs> I don't know why certain words I just can't retain in my head. Um, here is a circle tag. We have little tiny ones. We have little tabs for the side if you want to utilize them. Oh, there we have a little flower. We have little tiny tags. These actually have tabs with um, words on the side. So you can actually cut them in half if you want, or you can fold them if that's how you want to utilize them. But sometimes, you know, you don't want to use the other side if you're going to put it on the front of a 12 by 12 card uh, layout page. Excuse me. So definitely want to utilize your bits correctly. Here's one. This is winter. And then we have a whole bunch of different snowflakes. So I'm just going to fan through these. I love how they're different colors and sizes. Really shows to you that um, the stickers kind of coordinate along with the embellishments as well. Oh, we have some more little flowers. Don't know how the flowers kind of filter in <laughs> with the... Um, snow but it is what it is right so different other ones we have one that here says memories another little um, scalloped tag and again they look like just all snowflakes so I'm just gonna just show you quickly as you can see the different sizes there and then I'm going to put that there that belongs with that one and the next one is 90 of them. These are the chit chat. So you see on the back that what they refer to chit chat is you have all the different sentiments. You can use those title pages 
or just to reference a tag or whatnot. And then you have circles and, and little banner strips. So you have a variety here. You have little stamps and stuff like that. As well as um, the scale sometimes can be a little different too. Alright, well you see that there. It says cool. <laughs> so we'll go through this real quick. And then we'll move on to the next one. This one says hello winter. Look how pretty that one is. Baby, it's cold outside. Having so much fun. Ooh, I like this one. Tis the ski season. Ski sun. Ski sun. <laughs> let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Warm sweaters, hot chocolate, fuzzy socks. See, now I need to go somewhere cold. Um, snow happy together. Let's stay home. Winter snow oh what's this one so you have these big giant words you have a little cluster of snowflakes you have these big giant banner strips so it says fun day time you can definitely make words out of these cold hello just chillin day winter and one then we have winter wonderland some more snowflakes and hearts keeping with the uh, theme here and then let's move this around so it's easier for you guys to read um baby it's cold outside it was love at first frost oh wait it was love at frost sight i don't know why i said it the other way around <laughs> um warm winter wishes tis the season to be freezing you're worth melting for. I feel like that needs to have Olaf underneath it. This one says hot cocoa weather. This one has winter, another heart, chillin', snow day, let it snow, adorable. And this one doesn't have anything. It just has the little cluster of snowflakes. Then we have warm and cozy, bring on the hot cocoa, baby it's cold outside time to bundle up having snow much fun just for you snow happy together i love all the puns in this thing thank you so much it should say snow much i think that was a miss on that one happy birthday winter wonderland here's another tease tis the ski son <laughs> i don't know why i keep laughing at that <laughs> Let it snow, happy winter, warm winter wishes. There's a, definitely a lot. You can make probably um, holiday cards with these things. Hello there, nice to ski you, happy winter time. You warm my heart. Here are some of the stamps that I was referring to. Love the colors with them. So cute. Here's a little polar bear guy. And then we got to turn again. And then we have smaller little quote bubbles. So this one says, it's a beautiful day. It's freezing. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Sending warm thoughts. Up to snow good. Snow fun. Heartwarming. Hello snow. There's no place like home. Then we have a little heart bubble. Another heart bubble. You're so chill. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I can't stop laughing at these things. Um, th that was a little snow person. We have the word burr in a cool bubble. Let it snow. These are more like, I feel, um, uh, I know they're circles, but I feel like they're like statements type of thing in my mind. This one I really love. I would love to put this on a shirt. That's so pretty. Heartwarming. Snow place like home. Then we have banner strips, another one. Uh, snow happy together, happy birthday, winter wonderland, you melt my heart, a heart, and then warm and cozy. So that one was a chit chat. And then the last one to share with you guys is 136 of the odds and ends of the collection. This one I think is really my favorite because it has all of 
the embellishments of all the sticker people but of course these are bigger sizes and sometimes you need something bigger to just reference something um i guess i kind of think about when i did those banners for october for my neighbor's kids they had so much fun putting them up in their rooms i was really happy that they did that um not that they they used them but more that they enjoyed it all right so here we have some more of the embellishments that love to just fall out of the packaging but they're just like little asterisks and hearts so they might fall but look how cute these polar bears are oh i love them here's my little foxy guy here you have like a um, directional arrows pointing to the different locations of where to get stuff and we have our little penguins oh these are so cute so adorable we have clouds that's kind of nice we have sweaters and we have little hats Ooh, we could put these on the little i can cut a hole out oh i'm already thinking in my head of course i put them in here and now i can't get them out wouldn't that be adorable to poke a little hole there and put it like this <laughs> oh my god it's so cute okay sorry just had to just had to anyways we have some trees we have more penguins but this one's like going down with a sled without a little tubey on him because he should have a tube so he can go down faster and then we have a little girl with or a boy with a snowball up to no good we have another penguin we have some mittens we have another mitten over here hearts we have another person going down the sleigh you know i had to make a comment sometimes you don't know what gender they are and i really like that because you never know what you want to utilize it for and therefore you're not restricted i don't know if there are girls in here oh i guess there is I mean, you can definitely tell she's a girl, but what I mean is like, I really like the fact that this can go either gender and that way you can utilize it however you want. Um, so I just wanted to make that comment. Look at these little, I guess you can put them any different way. Like if they're going down, shh. you like my sound effects? Um, here's a mountain and then you have a cluster of snowballs, a little chicky. You have a hot cocoa machine and then you have your sign for hot cocoa perfect right then you have a snow person with a snowflake Ooh, we have these little cluster guys these are my pandas we have an abominable snowman oh my gosh guys look how cute he is the heart oh, and see that's when i would probably get my glossy accents and accent the heart to make him pop Ooh, we have another blue one to play with blue hat we have another one going ice fishing another abominable snowman a little tree with a birdie on it another penguin Ooh, we have a bunny there's a lot in here we have some trees on their own here we go we have a cluster of friends another little snowmobile we have another snow person we have some more people Ooh, we have a house houses are always good we have a different color tree oh here's one on a tube perfect oh, what else do we have oh so he would be like going with the tube going down <laughs> we have some mittens let's see we do get a left and a right so it's kind of nice you can always add these on top of your pictures to add some fun to it. We have hearts. There's with the ice cream, the snow cone, which I find ironic. We have a bucket of fish. Because, you know, you go ice fishing, you got to prove you spent the time and was worth your wild. Ooh, we have another house. We have some few houses in here. That's nice. Ooh, I like this tree. Look how pretty that is. We have a snow person building a snow person. So cute. We have another tree. I mean, another house. And then a bigger house back here in purple. And then we have some more polar bears. 
here's my little sea lion. I think it's a sea lion. We have some clouds and snowflakes. We have cups of joe. We have another snow person with the word love on it. We have a fox. Or no, we'll go with this little guy first. But I do know we had a fox back here. Oh, it's her with the fox. Oh, got it. Then we have some more houses. Cup of joe with a heart in it. We have a sweater, snow people. She's so cute, look at that. Snow cones, cause that's where the snow people got it from. I don't know if I'll ever use this. I think I'm just gonna keep it as is cause it's so stinking cute. I love it. Here is more houses. Oh, I think this is the last one. Look how big that one is. And then we have some random stuff. Oh, we have another penguin back here with a little birdie on top. And then we have our light post, more trees, cups of joe. Oh, here's another bunny. Hippity hop, a birdie. All right. Oh, we got another tree like that, other one. So we got two of those. We have another mountain back here so pretty and I love how you see how you see the petite prints in the background they go perfect with that pattern paper so then you have more trees and cups of joe or cocoa I guess is really what it's supposed to be and then you have hearts all right guys well that wraps up my doodle bug haul of uh, snow much fun i actually hope you had snow much fun even though here in florida there is no snow <laughs> um thank you so much for taking out the time of your day to hang out with me hope you guys are having a great week i will catch you on the next one and definitely let me know at the bottom in the comments if you got this collection anything of it um would love to hear from you have a good one take care